Your life dashboard in Notion is like your centerpiece. It's where you go off and do all of your different things, but that page can be very, very hectic. So what I'm gonna do is show you some examples where you can use databases in your homepage to make things a little bit simpler. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. So when I'm looking at this homepage, the first thing I actually see is my journal, which is a gallery database view. Off to the right, what I've done is I've put my inbox in there and then a toggle list of all the quick links that I may need to go to. For the work section, I've just done some simple headers, some call out blocks and some other toggle lists. And for the personal section, I've just got a list of pages. In this video, I explained how I manipulate all the basic blocks. So anything that you see in this video that has all those basic blocks, I actually explained it in that one. So make sure you check that out. But in this gallery view, it actually tells me almost everything I need to do. So I have my daily reoccurring task as a tick box and that will appear on every single day that I create a page. I then have an emoji that represents a different reoccurring task, maybe a different day of the week, a different day of the month, and that's using formulas which I actually explained in this video over here. But having this as a gallery database gives me all of this information on my homepage. And when I click on one of those days, I can have my journal entry, my to-do list, and anything else that I want to do specifically for that day. Because it's a database, I can create a template, so every time I create a new day, I already have the basic structure in there. So by clicking the template, I already have my journal entry section, my to-do list section, and some checkpoints ready to go. And if anything was to change or I wanted to add anything, I could just go and edit the template. And whatever I add to this template will just change for every time I create a new page. Another addition of using the database on this page is you can filter what you want to see. You can filter the things at the bottom of the gallery. You can filter what you want to see. You can change the size of the page so to work around everything else that you may have on your homepage, whether you need more space or not. And one of the main features that I use all the time when in databases is filters because you can just filter out the data that you actually want to see. So as this is a journal example, I'm just going to put today. So it only comes up with today journal. The next homepage is a little bit different. Again, if you want to know how to manipulate those basic blocks, check out that video. But the database view I have here is not a gallery, but a calendar. So you can see all of those journal entries as separate pages. But then I've also got my events in there, so I can see what events are on what day. All of these do open up into their pages like we saw earlier. The template for the day is still in there, but because it's an event, I might want to create a different template for the event. And again, using the filter in the calendar view, because I've added a property to the pages which explains its type, I can now filter the view for the type of page that it is. So if I just want to see events, I can push that. If I just want to see journals, I can see that. And you can edit and change their properties in any page just by entering the page and then selecting it. This is the reoccurring task and it's a formula and you can make formulas to do quite a lot of things if you know how to use code. I'm not great with formulas, but I've used Excel a fair amount, so the transferable skills helped out. Again, if you want to see more specifics on how I've used recurring tasks, check out that video. This page is similar to a, a Trello type view with the Kanban board at the top, and we still got the rest of our stuff down the bottom. Some code blocks, some pages, some text that look like pages. But when we go up to the database, we can move the task across. So it's quite easy to move them from to do, working, done, and because it is a database, each one of these tasks is its own page again. So we still have all the recurring tasks, the properties and the templates all in there. Don't forget to check this video out for more Notion tips and tricks. I'll see you there.